Hello, it's Helen from North Ayrshire Ranger Service here. Now, last month we were down at Irving Towns Moor with Lynn from Nectar Network and the Junior Rangers and we were sowing a wildflower meadow as part of the Irvin to Girvan Nectar Network project. Well, as we were going to be meeting up today with the Junior Rangers under normal circumstances, and obviously we can't do that, miss you guys, um, I thought we'd do a little project here at home in my garden and I've wrote my family in to give me a hand today. We are going to sow a mini wildflower meadow. So why is it that we want to plant meadows in the first place? Well, 95% of the wildflower meadows in the UK are lost since the end of the Second World War. So any that we can put back to help out the pollinators is a good thing. So how are we going to do this? Well, all you need really is some seed and a place to, to dig up to put your seeds in. Now they, they do best when they're in um, bare soil rather than on a lawn. So the first job we've got to do this afternoon is to dig up the turf and then get rid of any weeds and then give it a wee rake over and then we're good to go, we can sow our seeds. Okay, so got my spade, let's get cracking. hard work done. We've got rid of the turf and some of the topsoil and we've raked out all the lumps. We've dug out about a three square metre space because that's what the seed packet told me to do and the reason that we've done that is because if we just scatter them on the lawn they're not likely to do very well because they'll be competing with the grass so that's why we needed to remove the turf. We also dug away some of the topsoil because believe it or not seeds like this prefer nutrient poor soil so we haven't had any fertiliser or anything on the grass for a while, so hopefully that will be okay. The best time to sow these seeds is autumn or spring, so that's why we're doing it now, otherwise we'd have to wait until after the summer. When we go to sow the seeds, we're going to do them across the patch and then along the patch, and that way we'll get the best spread of seed and a good distribution of all the different kinds of seeds that are in the pack. Okay, so let's get sowing. Sown. Now we need to tramp it in a little bit just to make sure that all the seeds have contact with the soil and give them the best chance of growing. And all that's left is that we need to water all the seeds in and keep doing that to make sure that they don't dry out over the next few weeks. That's job well done, pleased with that. All we need to do now is wait for the flowers to grow and then hopefully some of the pollinators will come and visit. We'll keep you posted on what grows in the next few weeks. If you want to have a go yourself, I'll put some links further down below that you can have a look at to get some more advice. You don't have to do it on as big a scale as this. You could do it in a wee pot if you wish. And if you do, please let us know and share it in the comments down below. Thanks for that, we'll see you again soon.